Hello everyone, it's Kuyofe again and welcome to Crafting Shed. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this placemat. This placemat is crocheted with heavy texture stitches to protect the tabletop. I use size 4 medium weight cotton yarn. I designed this with scalloped rim that may mix the rays of the sun. As usual, this is very easy to follow crochet pattern and you can play with different color combinations to match your style. Now, let's get started! I use size H 5mm crochet hook. I also needed a pair of scissors, blunt needle, and tape measure. Let's start with a knot and proceed with round one. Round one is chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Two double crochets in the first chain, right here. So two double crochets, one and two. So the beginning chain five will be our first chain two space. So this is our first chain two space. Then chain two, two double crochets in the same first chain. So one, and two and this is our second chain two space this one then repeat the pattern four times so chain two two double crochets in the same first chain one two this that's the first repeat second repeat chain two two double crochets one two third repeat chain two two double crochets one and two and on the last repeat chain two and only one double crochet instead of two so one double crochet here in the uh, first chain and we should have six chain two spaces so one two three four five six join the round with a slip stitch in the third chain of our beginning chain five one right here so slip stitch on this chain to join round one. So this is how to end round one and this is what round one looks like. So there are six chain two spaces and we created a hexagon shape round with six sides. Round two, chain three, one, two, three. V stitch in the next chain two space right here. So V stitch is double crochet chain two, double crochet in the same space. Then working on the first side, double crochet in each stitch in the next two stitches, one and two. Then repeat the pattern, V stitch in the next chain two space, which is double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the same space. And we did the first side of the hexagon, which has four double crochets right here. Then continue, double crochet in the next two stitches, one, two. Then repeat the pattern, V stitch in the next chain two space, which is double crochet, chain two, two and double crochet in the same chain two space. Again, the second side, four double crochets. Then continue with double crochet in the next two stitches. V stitch in the next chain two space, which is double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the same space. Double crochet in the next two stitches, one, two, and repeat. V stitch, double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the same space. Double crochet in the next chain, two stitches, one, two, and then last repeat. V stitch in the next chain two space, which is D double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the same space. Then double crochet in the last stitch right here. Then join with a slip stitch in the third chain of uh, the beginning chain three right here. So slip stitch to join round two. So this is how to end round two and this is what round two looks like. So at round two we have one two, three, four, five, six chain two spaces and each side will have four double crochets. Round three, chain three, one, two, three. 
front post double crochet in the next post so right here yarn over insert in the post through the front like this yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops then in the next chain two space v stitch which is double crochet chain two double crochet in the same space then front post double crochet in the next four posts so insert through the front and do a double crochet so that's one two three and four repeat the pattern v stitch in the next chain two space which is double crochet chain two double crochet in the same space and this is what it looks like so we just did the first side and this time there are six double crochets on this side so six two four six then continue working on the next side front post double crochet in the next four posts so one two three and four then v stitch in the next chain two space which is v double crochet chain two double crochet in the same space and we just did the second side which has uh, six double crochets also so repeat this pattern around i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back towards the end of the round i'm here now towards the end of the round so i just did the four front post double crochet then working on the last chain two space v stitch which is double crochet chain two double crochet in the same space then on the last side front post double crochet in the in the last two posts so one and two then join the round with a slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain three right here so this is how to end round three and this is what round three looks like so as we add one round to the piece the number of double crochets on each side of the hexagon increases by two so at round one two double crochets on each side at round two four double crochets on each side and at round three six double crochets on each side of the hexagon and so on round four chain three one two three double crochet in the next two stitches starting in the next stitch right here so one and two and this is what it looks like v stitch in the next chain two space which is double crochet chain two double crochet in the same chain two space then double crochet in the next six stitches starting in the next stitch here one two three four five and six then repeat the pattern v stitch in the next chain two space which is double crochet chain two double crochet so at round four each side now will have eight double crochets so continue double crochet in the next six stitches starting in the next stitch right here one two three four five six then v stitch in the next chain two space double crochet chain two double crochet so this side also has six double crochets so repeat this pattern around i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back towards the end of the round I'm here now towards the end of the round so I just did the uh, six double crochets to continue from here V stitch in the last chain two space which is double crochet chain two double crochet in the same space then double crochet in the last three stitches starting here one two three then end the round join the round with a slip stitch in the third chain of beginning chain three so this is how to end round four and this is what round four looks like so each side now has eight double crochets
rounds 5 to 10, just repeat rounds 3 and 4 consecutively. So round 3 is front post double crochet and then round 4 is just back to regular double crochet. And as you go on to the next round, the number of double crochets in each side will increase by 2. So I'm going to continue my work. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I'm done with round 10. And this is now what the piece looks like after round 10. And at round 10, there are 20 double crochets on each side of the hexagon. So this is what the top side looks like. And if I flip this to the other side, it looks like this. There are ridges because of the front post double crochet stitches, which makes this piece thicker and better protect the tabletop. Next, I'm going to work on the borders. Round 11, chain 1, single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and in each stitch around. So I'm just going to fast forward this one so that I can show you what to do on the chain 2 space. So when we get to the chain 2 space, we're going to do 3 single crochets in the chain 2 space. So 1, 2, and 3. Then continue with one single crochet in each stitch again around. And then when we get to the next chain 2 space, three single crochets. So continue this pattern around. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. And I'm here now towards the end of the round. So three single crochets in the chain two spaces. And then from here, I'm just going to do two more single crochets. One and then last stitch right here. Then join this round with a slip stitch in the first single crochet right here. So this is how to end round 11, and this is what round 11 looks like. Round 12, chain 1, single crochet in the same stitch, chain 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, single crochet in the same stitch. Now we have our first chain 7 space. It looks like this. Then chain 5, skip 5 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And single crochet in the next stitch. Looks like this. Chain 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Single crochet in the same stitch. And we just did our second chain 7 space. Then repeat the pattern. Chain 5. Skip 5 stitches, single crochet in the next stitch, chain 7, single crochet in the same stitch. So our third chain 7 space. Repeat, chain 5, skip 5 stitches, single crochet in the next stitch, chain 7, and single crochet in the same stitch. So repeat this pattern around. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. I'm here now towards the end of the round. So this is what it looks like so far. And I just did the last chain 7 space right here. To continue, chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Skip 5 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and join the round with a slip stitch in the next stitch right here. So this is how to end round 12, and this is what round 12 looks like. Round 13, chain 1, 9 double crochets in the next chain 7 space right here. So 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And we just did our first petal. 
Then working two rows below, skip the next two stitches. So right here, one, two, and in the next stitch, so skip one, two stitches, one, two. In the next stitch right here, single crochet and yarn over the chain five space right here. So single crochet like this. And this is what it looks like. Repeat the pattern on the next chain seven space, nine double crochets again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then working two rows below, skip the next two stitches, one, two, and single crochet in the next stitch, yarn over the chain five space like this. And we just did our second repeat. This is what it looks like. Then repeat in the next chain seven space, nine double crochets again, one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight and nine then working two rows below skip the next two stitches one two single crochet in the next stitch yarn over the chain five space of prior row so repeat this pattern around i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back towards the end of the round i'm here now towards the end of the round this is what it looks like and i'm going to work next on the last chain seven space right here so nine double crochets on this cha last chain seven space that's one two three four five six seven eight and nine then working on two rows below skip the next two stitches and single crochet in the next stitch yarning over the chain five space so i did a slip stitch there there but it's supposed to be a single crochet then end the round with a slip stitch in the first chain one space so join with a slip stitch in the first chain one space this is how to end round 13 and this is what round 13 looks like Round 14, chain 1, single crochet in the next 5 stitches, starting here in the first double crochet of the petal. So starting here, single crochet in the next 5, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This is how we started then chain three one two three single crochet in the same stitch working on the next on the other side right here single crochet in the next four stitches one two three and four and this is what it looks like then slip stitch in the next single crochet stitch right here so slip stitch like this and this is what it looks like repeat the pattern single crochet in the next five stitches again one two three four and five so working on the next petal now then chain three one two three single crochet in the same stitch Continue on the other side, single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Then slip stitch in the next single crochet stitch right here. And this is what it looks like, our second petal. Repeat the pattern in the next petal, single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three four and five chain three single crochet in the same stitch single crochet in the next four stitches one two three and four 
then slip stitch in the next single crochet stitch slip stitch here so repeat this pattern around i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back towards the end of the round i'm here now towards the end of the round i just did i just have to do the last repeat so from here single crochet in the next five stitches working on the last petal one two three four and five chain three single crochet in the same stitch single crochet in the next four stitches one two three and four then slip stitch in the next single crochet stitch then to end this round join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet at the beginning of the round then fasten off so this is how to end round 14 and this is what round 14 looks like and at this point we are done So weave the ends, clean up the tails, and we're done! And this is now what the piece looks like, all cleaned up and all done! The diameter of this piece is about 15 inches. If you're new to my channel, please check out my other videos. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this video and please subscribe.